Hello, hello. Hopefully levels are alright and stuff. Just getting copying my own stream up so I can watch. <laughs> Make sure nothing goes wrong. So, uh, tonight I thought I would play a game that was gifted to me uh, very kindly by my brother-in-law. A game called Bartender Hustle. Uh, where you make drinks for people. I used to make cocktail videos and stuff, so this should be uh, uh, good fun. I've played a little bit, but um, yeah, we'll jump in and uh, see how far we get tonight. Have some fun with it. We'll do the story mode. I have a cut. Out of work for three weeks, and rent is due at the end of the month. If I don't pick up this job, I'll miss my rent payment for sure. They said show up for a shift tonight, so I'd better get moving. Music player can be opened with M, recipe book with R, laptop can use to access various features to change outfit by interacting with the wardrobe. Hey, can I interact with you? Ninja. Aren't you lucky to be inside on a night like this? Yeah, weather looks pretty miserable. So, my favourite thing about this, before you do the work and stuff, they have quizzes for the cocktails, which is pretty cool. Uh, so this looks like a like that's a tiki cocktail. That's a that drink is up, so it'd be a highball. I get a bonus. I think it's like money if you get like, a bunch of these. What's uh, not used in a fuzzy navel? Cinnamon liqueur. Hey, coach. Yep, kitty. I'll go back to the kitty in a minute. Uh, cocktail requires how much blue curacao? Blue lagoon. Uh, 0.5 would not make it blue. 3 is way too much, so it's got to be 1 else. A spritz Veneziano. Which of the following ingredients is not used in this cocktail? Well, it's definitely soda, otherwise it wouldn't be a spritz. Uh, Italian orange liqueur, which I think is Galliano in this game, but there's definitely no lemonade. Uh, one more for a bonus, and then we'll get into the game. A gimlet. Which of the following ingredients is not used in this So it is gin and lime juice. There's definitely no beer in there. <laughs> Nice, we've got 10 bucks. <laughs> if it were up to me, I'd just be on that game, like, <laughs> the the quiz, like, all <laughs> the entire time, because it's a lot of fun. We'll go back to Ninja. There he is. Giddy. Right, we go mix drinks now. Has he been fed? Yes, he has food. And the cat is happy. Whiskey's Pub, found in 96 Bill. Whiskey's Pub is along with the popular drinking. Oh, never mind. Is that my boss or a customer? Pineapple. Nora. Alright, Amy, right? That's me. I am Amy. Nice to meet you. My name's Nora. I've got a couple other candidates lined up at this job, so we'll see how we do tonight and go from there. Do you have any experience bartending? Jim Letter's favourite gin drink. Yeah, same. Like, the, for how much, like, British pubs, like, like their gin, you never see a Jim Letter on the, um, on the menus. It's all, like, gin and tonics and um, stuff like that. Hell, half of the places can't even make you a martini. But they've always got like lime cordials in the back, so they could easily make a gimlet. <laughs> I've got a bit of learning to do, but I think I can handle the basics. That's fine. I can teach you how to mix a drink, but I need someone who can connect with the customers too. Whiskies is known for its friendly service. We need to maintain that reputation. Okay, no problem. I can take care of the customers. We've been closed for the past week to make some equipment upgrades. Tonight is our reopening night. It's a cozy looking bar. Looks like I have everything I need here. Those beer taps are brand new. Some of the other equipment here you probably won't use very much at this bar. Flaming drinks and high-end cocktails were never very popular at this establishment. Flaming drinks? Yeah, I'll show you another time. We have a fairly simple beverage menu at this bar. Sick. <coughs> okay. Hopefully I'm not just making beers though. Hands for running my new bar down the street so I could really use a good bartender here. My family owns several bars in the area, so there's plenty of room for advancement if you can pull it off. Sick. Alright, sounds good. So what can I do for you? Let's start with something simple. Grab a highball, fill it to the top with pale ale beer for the beer tap, then serve it. I think I'll handle that. Coming right up. Discard a glass with middle mouse button. Okay. And then tab. Excellent. Glasses are here. Alright, lights it up. Nice. Pale, pale, pale. First one. Uh, place. And then hold it. Eight. Don't even have to get it exactly on for the things, at least. There we go. I've got four bucks. Nice. 
Excellent. Thanks. We usually start to get busy around this time. I bet you'll see your first customer soon, but you'll need to know how to mix proper drink first. Other that, you'll be on your own for the night. We'll meet here at the same time tomorrow for your review. Okay, I can handle shift on my own. What can I get for you? Better make me a screwdriver. Refer to the recipe while you're mixing the cocktail. If you overpour slightly, don't sweat it, but your customer might reject your drink if it's not correct. A screwdriver coming right up. High ball. Okay. Tap. Next. Hello. Nice bin. Four. All liquid ingredients. Two ounces of vodka. There's that. Uh, oh. Nope. Not. There we go. And then a reset. Right click. Right. Four ounces of orange juice. That's that one. Two. Three. Oh. Ah. Always go a little bit shy. There we go. I guess it makes it easier to correct. Orange wheel. There. Bop. And medium straw. Boom. So. Nice. Four bucks seventy-five. Marcus. Hey there. Hi. Welcome to Whiskey's Pub. This is my usual spot to drink. I had a late night though. I won't make it there tonight. What's your usual spot? A hotel bar, about five blocks away. I just spent the past 12 hours in the emergency ward. My next stop's home. I never noticed this place before, so figured I'd check it out. You just come from the emergency ward? Go home, your family's probably scared to death. We just reopened tonight. You work in a hospital? Ah, <laughs> yes, emergency ward doctor. 12 hours in the emergency ward. Bet you've got some stories. What can I get for you? I'd like to have a glass of red wine, please. Sure, I can get that for you. Come on up. Mm, wine glass. Five ounces. Ah. Red wine, white wine, presumably. Four and a reset. So nice. Thanks. This is great. You're welcome. My pleasure. Did you know that's not a good idea to reach inside a spinning washing machine? Uh, yes. Yes, I didn't know that. <laughs> I never thought of it, but found out at a young age it's not good I did stick a knife in a toaster either. Patient suffered a closed fracture of the radial and ulnar bones of the forearm. Should be fully recovered in six weeks' time with minimal long-term effects. Who knew doing laundry could be so painful? We are fragile beings, but through those moments of pain and suffering, we become stronger. Would you suggest I reach inside a spinning washing machine to become stronger? No, I would not recommend that. We all learn from mistakes, but it's better to learn from the mistakes of others. <laughs> As a child, my mother told me not to put a hand on a hot stove, so I didn't. I wish my mom told me not to stick a knife in the toaster. Well, now someone can learn from you. Say, bartender, how about another drink before I go? Certainly. What can I get for you? It's funny how you never see, like, the characters actually drink these drinks. Or, you know, finish them. I'll, I'll just chuck that one away for you. I'd like to have an Cape Cod. Okay, one Cape Cod coming up. Right. Eyeball. Nice. Hi there. Okay. Vodka. 5, 10, 15. Nice. 4.5 of cranberry. Mm, ah, almost. Ah, nope. Stepsisters everywhere know how dangerous laundry can be. <laughs> uh, yeah, they really get stuck in. Right, lime wheel. And medium straw. Nice, two bucks. Lacey. Hi. Hi, welcome to Whiskies. Oh, I'm at a bar. I was on my way to the club, but I lost my twin sister. Have you seen her? Hey, name is Stacy. She looks just like me. Oh. Huh. Nope, don't think I've seen this tonight. We just opened about ten minutes ago. Are you sure? Here's a picture of her. She's on the right. Wow, they really do look alike. It's almost like it's the same 3D model, Lauren. <laughs> hmm, nope, haven't seen her. I'll let her know you were looking for her if she stops by. Okay, I guess I'll have a drink when I'm here. Can you make me a drink? Sure, I can make you a drink. What'll it be? Okay, I would like a gin tonic. Well, she's British. Going right up. Right, my ball. Hmm. There we go. Ice. Two ounces of definitely not Bombay Sapphire. Yep. One more. Oh, there we go. Two ounces of tonic. 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 That would be a can, wouldn't it? There we go. Ooh. 
It was a little bit over. Whoopsie. Right. Lime wheel. Medium straw. There we go. Acceptable liquid volume. Oh no. Yeah, two bucks fifty. See, <laughs> why does Svetlana look more like you than your sister does? Hi. Hello, welcome to Whiskies. We tried to visit this bar last night, but it was closed. Well, we just reopened tonight, and I'll be a bartender. What can I get for you? My order, red beer, please. Sure, one red beer coming right up. Eyeball. Eyeball, eyeball. Northern Wildfire, this is called. <laughs> nice, one buck seventy-five. Thank you. You're very welcome. I like this bar. It's not a bad spot to have a drink, is it? No pretension. Reminds me of a bar at back home. Where are you from? A place far from here. Overseas. They've been here for only one month. What brings you to the city? They have no family. I'm the only one left. Yeah, red beer. <laughs> I think it's got like cinnamon or something. <laughs> I feel like I needed to change my surroundings. Something to change the way I view things. Oh, I'm really sorry to hear that. How about your family? Do not feel sorry for me. They got in my way. <laughs> it's just that I'm sure you must be going through difficult times. You think I'm going through difficult times? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Are you? That is how I have come to expect people to act in these places. Never expecting anything bad to happen. What do you mean? Where I come from, we expect bad things to happen. It is inevitable that bad things will happen. Okay. On, on you, a barrel of laughs. Well, don't you find that kind of depressing? I was expecting bad things to happen. It's not about expecting things to go wrong, it is about accepting the fact that things will go wrong. This part of life. Move on. Why bother trying to control things out of my control? I, I see what you mean, so... Have you found a job yet? I work at local motel. Housekeeping. Something to pay the bills. Do you like your job? I don't mind it. After work, I study. I will be a mechanical engineer one day. Oh, good for you. Bartender. Another drink? 